are you this evening? I am wonderful. How are you? Really good. I love the gold tie. It's beautiful. Did you choose it yourself? Well, I chose this first, and then I thought I would dress appropriately so I wouldn't clash with my Oscar. There it is. Speaking of Oscars, this is Oscar night. Is there anyone in particular you're rooting for? No, because I think this is a night, you know, uh, working with Entertainment Tonight, doing entertainment business for 17 years, I realize that this is more about celebrating the night and celebrating filmmaking than it is really a winner, because they're all winners. They're all so good. It's like trying to compare apples and oranges. But I love what Matthew McConaughey did this year. Uh, when was the last time you interviewed him? Can you tell us about oh that? Gosh, the, I, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I interviewed Matthew or even Leo, because I think they both did a great job. I, I don't recall the last time I interviewed them. It was obviously for the, one of their latest films, but his transformation was remarkable. So um, having that. But now, now I'm, uh, just to bring you up to speed, I'm hosting a show on Hallmark called Home and Family. So I'm completely outside of the entertainment business, which gives me a kind of a different perspective on things. Can you tell us about that show? Yeah, the show is a two-hour show. It is a live show every day, Monday through Friday. And it is a little bit like Pinterest on television. It is how-to things. It's how to, like I, I always kind of joke when I say this, but it's where a lot of what we see and celebrate tonight is about escaping your life and going on a journey with the actor through what this particular experience must have been, whether it's a Captain Phillips or 12 Years a Slave, whatever it may be, and you begin to have that, where our show now teaches you how to stay in your life and live your life better and have a more rewarding experience on how you can save money, how you can benefit from all the stuff that you have and raising your kids and things like that. So I, I love that aspect of my show. Tell us when to tune into it. You can tune in Monday through Friday, 10 a.m., 10 to 12. Then there's a repeat encore performance right after from 12 to 2. It's four hours of Mark and Christina and all of our family members. It's fun. That's wonderful. You've been in the entertainment field for so long. Can you, you tell me? me old. You just called me old. I saw what you did there, and I read the subtext, but go on. Like wine, better with yeah, age. Exactly. When you were a child, did you ask too many questions? Did you know that you wanted to be an interviewer? Can you clue us in on that? Well, when I was a kid, I was sort of uh, the kid who would run in the house and say, guess what Johnny Finnegan did? He jumped off the bridge. I was the one who was the town crier. I loved to be able to like be in the know of what's going on. So that came a little bit, and then that kind of spilled over into journalistic approach to things. The interviewing stuff just kind of came with the territory. I was always curious, I think, about the world around me. And I would pretend I was a DJ when I was a kid. I'd play records on my clothes and play, for all of those who you remember that. Uh, and I would announce the next song, and I would think I'd want to be a DJ. All of that stuff. I'm sure my parents had no idea what was coming. Can you tell us about one of your... Can you tell us one of two things? Either one of your biggest interviews or a time where you had a really big interview and there were some moments that were happening that were kind of unexpected and how did you handle that? Sure. Uh, I think one of the more difficult interviews I ever had was interviewing Nicole Kidman after Nicole and Tom split. And what was supposed to be about a 15 minute interview about Moulin Rouge and at the Cannes Film Festival was cut to under seven as she sat down and I had to figure out how to bring all of this together, ask her about the split, talk to her about the movie, talk to her about being in Cannes, and make it all sound natural. Uh, there was a lot of non sequiturs in that. But I've done a variety of things. I've had breaking news happen and people literally talking in my ear telling me what to say as the news was happening and just being sort of a pass-through. Uh, there's just a variety of, one story after another. Every interview comes with its own sort of um, it's, 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 a, it's sort of a tangled web. Everything has a delicacy to it, a humor to it. You, when you interview, it's always, to me, about listening, asking the first question, and then seeing if they're listening to the same music you are, and then you're going to dance to the same song. Many times I'm kind of doing the waltz, and they're trying to do hip-hop, and I'm like, this ain't working. Or maybe I'm hip-hop. I don't know. <laughs> Who would you want to win tonight in the Best Actor category? I'm going to go with, I would love to see, I would love to see Leo win it. It would be an upset, a little one, but I think Matthew's going to take it. We heard it from you. I'm going to hold you to it. Perfect. It was such a pleasure meeting you.
Nice meeting you. We will see you, Jessica. 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 Have a wonderful evening and night of 100 stars. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You bet. Thanks, Thank you. I was trying to connect with you because I.